Welcome back friends. This is a very highly requested video and I get DMs daily about the NCLEX. I get DMs daily from people saying, I failed the NCLEX, help me, or I'm so nervous to take the NCLEX, can you give me any advice on how to study? Well, a few years ago, I wrote a little mini book, little ebook about how to pass the NCLEX because I had friends that wrote test bank questions and I also had a lot of nursing students that were on our floor that were in their last semester and they were getting ready to graduate. So I had a lot of tips to give on the test on how to study best and I saw incredible success. So in case you didn't know, I am Meg from nursemegrn.com. I write courses and eBooks and resources for new nurses to be the best they can be. I wanna help you succeed. That's the only reason I'm here and doing this. I wanna completely change the next generation of nurses. So I wrote an entire video course on how to study and pass the NCLEX. I have had these resources for three years and every person that has gone through the course, every person who has read this book has passed the NCLEX. It has a 100% passing rate. So I wanted to make a quick little video and share a couple of tips that I have in my course on how to study and pass the NCLEX so that you can maybe get interested and if you are interested in buying the course, um, Maybe I'll put a, a promotional code or a coupon down in the description. Scroll down and see if it's there. And I will put a link to the course as well. So let's get started how to study and how to pass the NCLEX. So I believe that studying for the NCLEX should be separated into three phases. So phase one is gonna be you're out of school and you're studying and you're doing practice questions. Now I don't think you should do more than like five to 10 questions a day. I don't think people should overwhelm themselves, but I also don't think that they should take huge long breaks. Like don't take a huge break over the weekend. Don't take a break when you go on vacation. Practice questions are everywhere. Whether you choose to pay for UWorld Kaplan, listen, there's a bunch of free questions on the internet. I don't offer any free questions. I don't offer any practice questions at all because I think you can find them anywhere. In my book, I give you five links to websites that have free questions so that you can practice and get into that mindset. That is the point of practice questions. If you graduated nursing school, you already have all the information that you need inside of your big, beautiful brain. You just have to translate it into the NCLEX world so that you can pass the test, get your license, and then start the real school, which is learning on the job. So go to any one of the free websites that I tell you about in the course to do practice questions. Do about five to 10 a day. Do them with your full focus. So don't be distracted, don't have music on, don't have the TV on, don't do it in a public place. I want you to focus on these questions and practice. Don't let too much time go by. Do them every single day. That is the first phase, is studying and leading up to it. Phase two, is the day before. A lot of people screw this up. The day before is the most important. The day before is how you are prepping your body and your brain to take this test. A lot of people party before, a lot of people lose sleep, a lot of people uh, like binge Netflix and just cloud their mind with stuff. So in my course, I tell you exactly what to eat. Eat foods that are good for your brain berries, green leafy vegetables, nuts, so good for your brain ahead of time. Um, also, you need sleep. Sleep is so important. Take naps, sleep as much as you can, sleep. Also, I want you to avoid any like stimulants, like too much coffee, alcohol, energy drinks, no. No alcohol or energy drinks the day before the exam. Coffee's fine, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it with like caffeine in coffee and tea, but a little is fine. Now this is probably the weirdest thing that I've told everybody, but it works every time. Don't do any studying or any review the day before the exam. This is when you need to relax, eat the right foods, get enough sleep, maybe do some light exercise, do some yoga and meditation, get outside, put your feet on the ground, ground yourself, get some sun, get the vitamin D. 
Do all of that sort of stuff the day before. Do not study the day before the exam. Got it? Very important. A lot of people screw up phase two the day before and that is why they fail. Phase three is the day of the exam. Now the day of the exam, I want you to also avoid any stimulants, alcohol, uh, energy drinks, maybe a cup of coffee is fine. I want you to eat well, eat a big breakfast, breakfast. Uh, you may be super nervous to take the exam and you're like, oh, I'm not hungry. Uh, I'll just eat a little bit of something. Force yourself to eat something that is very good for you. Eat nuts, berries, green leafy vegetables, uh, something that's going to feed your body. You need fuel. I mean, taking the NCLEX is like a marathon and you need to prep for it. You need as much fuel and energy and clarity as possible. I also want you to dress appropriately for these testing centers. So I want you to dress in layers. So something comfy, don't wear super tight pants that are like, like tight jeans that are gonna restrict you. Um, it's usually freezing cold in these facilities, Arctic temperatures. So definitely wear uh, maybe a shirt, a sweater, a hoodie, wear something that you can like cuddle with and stay warm. You don't want those distractions. Also bring earplugs bring earplugs. You want to be completely focused. Um, that was one of the best things for me is I put in earplugs and I took the test and I wasn't distracted by clicking or the sounds of anything. And when you're in the testing center, don't bring a bunch of stuff. Just bring like your ID, your keys. You can even leave your phone in the car or at home if you want. Um, Bring some water and some snacks because you can take a break in the middle of the exam to like go to the bathroom, maybe grab a bite of your granola bar, get some water, fuel up, and then get back to it. So before I reveal any more and give you away all my tips and tricks, I definitely want you to go and buy my how to study for the NCLEX. A big part of the course, which I'm not going to reveal here, is how to break down the questions. Like I said, I have friends who write questions for the test bank and for all the new changes coming in uh, 2021 and 2022. And it is how to outsmart the question. So there's a lot of tips on keywords that they will use that you need to pay attention to and uh, things like that. I don't want to give away too much. Um, but I give away all of those secrets in the course. And I think that's the most valuable part of this course is those three pages of how to outsmart the questions. They will really help you in practice. They will 100% help you when you're taking the exam and you don't know the answer right away. Just break it down, use my little secrets, pick the right answer and move on and get your license and start your beautiful career. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tips and nursing humor and maybe some scary stories. I have some compilations of my uh, TikToks on here as well. I have a series, the creepiest things that have ever happened to me as a nurse, a lot of paranormal stuff in there. So definitely check that out. Go explore the channel. I'm sure there's a video that you've been looking for. And if there isn't a video that you've been looking for, Put a request down below in the comments. I will make a video just for you. So thank you for watching. Again, I will see you at nursemegaren.com or on social media on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. I'll see you next time. Bye.